Blessings, everybody. Welcome to another segment of Real Talk Cafe, where we're going to show the world the definition of real. I just want to share today a word that really been on my mind that simply I get it. You know, the Bible says in all you'll get and get an understanding. And the other uh, translation of the Bible says, get wisdom, get knowledge, though it costs everything you have. You know, and one thing about when you get it, you got it and you understand because it's like once you start growing up and you start uh, really just reflecting on things that never really made sense then really starts making sense now because you've grown and exceeding your old way of, exceeded your old way of thinking and your old way of operating so therefore you develop and uh, are able to embrace things on a whole nother level and operate on a whole nother level of mental capacity in the your mental being is more sharper now because you're more aware. Like the Bible says, you become vigilant and sober-minded now to not only your surroundings, but your actions as well. And so your, the way people treat you is a reflection of how you treat yourself. So I get it how people act a fool and just think people owe them something because that's just the way they've always thought and the way they've been since uh, adolescence. And so they never really uh, grew past that uh state of immaturity and so now that they're of of age they haven't really became of age because they haven't grew up yet and i get it because it's like most people they really want to stay stuck in that adolescent state because it gives them the reward that they think they should have like everybody owes them something and everybody should just tolerate their foolishness and just sit back and let them say stuff to people or do things to people and nobody reacts and so i get it and I totally understand and get people that uh, exercise their intolerance for foolishness because I'm one. <laughs> so it's like the, the, the more mature I become in Christ, the more mature I become in life and the more tolerant I am of foolishness. Because to be honest with you, outside of ministry, I really don't want to be bothered with folks. And I know that sounds odd, but it's real. By this being Real Talk Cafe, we're going to keep it real. Simple as that. You know, I mean, I interact with people on a daily basis, but far in my private life, I have a select few people in, that, in my circle. <clears throat> and let me tell you this, my circle is getting smaller and smaller as each passing days go by because of the simple fact that, you know, I get it. And so once you start getting it, you know, what's uh, understood don't need to be explained. And that's one thing that people really don't understand because it's like some conversations need not be had. Like I stated before in uh, one of my previous videos, you know, if people had the uh, mental, to, mental capacity to get themselves, they wouldn't act in the way they would act and then turn around and look at you crazy because you're no longer around to be, on the, uh, be a recipient of their uh, adolescence behavior. And so that's one thing for real. I get it. You know, what I wish people would get more than anything is like, <laughs> you know, black people in general is constantly looking for somebody to rule over them. That's why you got all these folks that's looking to, for a pastor and, and to be in a church for the simple fact that they need somebody to over them, Lord, and over them. And the Bible says this is one thing that's really not taught in church. And Peter, it says, uh, be a good shepherd to the flock be an example not lording over the people so people are looking for a lord and it takes me back to the day of uh in second i think it's first samuel before uh king saul became king you know god was um leading the people and showing them which way to go through the prophet samuel and the prophets before that and so the people they said they want a king to rule over them like the rest of the people or the nations or other countries or whatever and God let them know, no, you don't want a king, you know, because they're going to uh, just basically tear you down and, and, and just take what you have and enslave you. And that's what's going on today in the churches. I hate to keep saying that. But if, if you really look at it, just say you've been in church for a while. I'm not talking about something that I heard about. Like Jesus said, I only talk about what I know and I testify to what I've seen. And so you've been sitting in this church for all these years, uh, going to minister and training classes, or you're a minister, 
and you breaking your neck to get there to serve your pastor, and you there every time the door is open, but when he goes out of town, he go get somebody else to preach. And not saying that, I'm not trying to start them, but I'm just trying to wake you up so therefore you'll get it and understand the thinking of a lot of pastors today. You know, because they have no intentions of building you up or discipleshipping you like God's intended living for us so therefore you can go out and teach the gospel. And that's one thing that I got and once I got it, I was good and I was gone. So that's why it's so important for you to understand what's really going on around you before you give something all you got. Like that old song, give it all you got. Give it all you got. If you're going to give all you got, give it to God and and your, and get understanding, like the Bible says, in all your getting. Because it's like, it's so many things that keep us uh, in prison and entrapped in our mental mind state because we don't get it. And I get it. You know what I mean? I was once there, so that's why I'm trying to put everybody else up on game. So therefore, you will no longer be um, unaware. Like Paul said, I would not have you ignorant. You know, because it's like that's the thing of the world. Uh, I was reading some. I think it was the the Rothschilds or some somebody, one of them rich families, where they said, you know, they they created schools because they didn't want a bunch of leaders. They wanted a bunch of workers. And so that's why the school system was created. And I was just like, wow. And that's what's going on today. While we look at what somebody to rule over us. But once we start getting into understanding God's intended, intended living for our lives, we would do all we can to surrender to God and allow him to move fully in our lives. So therefore, Jesus can uh, function in the way that he came to, that we may have life and have it more abundantly, not just be sitting somewhere in a poverty mindset waiting for this man to, to ration out what he think you want versus you getting what you need. But a lot of us need to be ensnared. And, and I ain't, excuse me, let me rephrase that. I'm not gonna, never going to say what somebody need. But a lot of us, we look for that because we want to go somewhere and feel tolerated anyway.